Well, all morning long, Cage Gray's Melissa Shriver has been giving you behind the scenes look at what happens during a heart attack. She's at Blessing Hospital this morning talking about the importance of calling 911 instead of driving yourself to the ER. Hey, Melissa. We've got some life saving information for you on this Wednesday morning. All morning long, we've been talking about the importance of calling an ambulance during a heart attack. And a guy that knows exactly what I'm talking about is Jordan Stroot. He works here at the cath lab at Blessing Hospital. We talk about all the time people wanting to drive themselves into the hospital when they're having a potential heart attack. But why is an ambulance on the scene so important for you doing your job here? Most important, it buys us time. If you're experiencing chest pain, you do not want to drive yourself to the hospital. Call 911, get the paramedics there. Um, it all starts from being on, on standby 24 7. When we get the call, the first things that we do, we contact the ER and get the information about the patient, mm -hmm. make sure that we know how stable the patient is. At the same time, we're prepping the lab, getting it ready, priming all the equipment, getting everything in order before that patient even gets there. We are actually in the cath lab, having it pretty much ready for the patient before the patient even gets to the hospital, which enables the paramedics and the ER staff to just bypass the ER, get to the cath lab, and get that artery open. Why is getting an artery open quickly such an important thing when we're talking about a heart attack? Well, time definitely is of the essence mm -hmm. in this scenario. Uh, the longer the muscle goes without sufficient blood supply, it's going to weaken, it's going to be damaged, and mm -hmm. sometimes it even gets to a point where it can't recover and the, and the tissue dies. So the sooner that we can open it up, um, the patient, you know, for one thing, feels much better, but you save that tissue and the patient doesn't have to live with the ramifications of muscle damage to their heart. Uh, and that never comes back. I did not know that, but once your tissue in your heart dies, it is gone forever. Coming up on KHQA this morning, big time things to pay attention to this morning. Symptoms of a heart attack, and that's different from a man and a woman. So things you need to know, of course, heart disease, the number one killer of men and women in the United States.